this is your program. This is your program when it crashes. And we don't like that, uh, obviously, when we're writing code. Because when things are on fire, our, our code doesn't work. So we never want our programs to crash, especially when they should be operating like normal. A great example of this would be, let's say, for example, I built a simple little function uh, called divide, takes in a numerator, takes in a denominator, and returns the you know quotient. So the entire idea here is that, well, what happens if I attempt to divide 10 by 0? Holy crap, I tried to divide by 0, and my program is going to error out. And I don't want that all the time. You know, that is bad. Dividing by 0 is bad. Well, in that case, we can use exception handling to process our uh, data so that it's a little safer when we're running our code. So the way to think about this is there are a number of different types of problems. First one is something known as a syntax error. And you were doing syntax errors. Anytime you run your code and, oh, I don't, you know, you misspelled a word or something. That's actually what the typing exercises that you do for a class are built to you know, help out with. But specifically, we happen to have two other problems that we may need to work off of. Logic errors, not necessarily, uh, but they can sometimes happen. But specifically, we're looking at the runtime error. If you think about it, when I was working off of this code, my program was running perfectly fine. Uh, there are no like typographical errors here, and technically, this is not a logic error. This is how you divide numbers. So the issue specifically is that by passing in that zero parameter, again, I'm attempting to divide by zero. Laws of math say we are not capable of doing that, and so as a result, Python is not going to try and break the laws of math. It's just going to crash. So with that in mind, again, that's where we get into the idea of exception handling and that idea of an exception. What we're thinking about here is that when our code is running, there may be some issue that causes the code to crash and that would shut down our program. But maybe we don't want our code to crash. And in that case, just as the you know, slides sort of describe it as, uh, we want to handle that exception. So how do we do that? We use some more keywords. Specifically, we add in something called our try and our accept. Now, try is effectively going to say, just as you can probably imagine, try to do this whatever that happens to be. If it were to crash, so uh, if that crashes, do this. That's in a nutshell how exception handling comes into play. So if we were to come in and for our sake, let's attempt to try to divide by zero. Again, you know, let's just try to do it. Except, now I'm going to start with just except. Except is going to be a catch all. Whatever crash happens, just that crash is going to happen. So print, you cannot divide by zero. So we've now built that out and now, if we attempt to run our, you know, divide by zero, instead of a crash happens, we get a print statement that says you cannot divide by zero. Crisis averted. Now, the issue is that what happens if instead of trying to divide by zero, I try to divide by a string. I try and divide by cat. Well, that's not a number. And in fact, the issue is that we're still getting the same error message. We're still getting, say for example, explicitly the catch-all of you can't divide by zero. So let's take off the try-catch for just a moment and now see just what error is going on there. 
type error. Oh, specifically, notice again that these are different types that Python can uh, present to us, and there are a number of these. Not every one of them is going to happen all the time. Some are more rare, or some, it depends on really your code. But specifically to our sort of example here, we are experiencing a zero division error because we're trying to divide by zero and a type error where we're using an inappropriate data type. So in this case, for example, this is where we can use different types of exceptions or handle different types of exceptions. So once again, we'll reintroduce the exception handling, but instead of just saying accept, we're going to add in a space and then denote that I want a specific type of exception to be handled this way. Zero division error. Only a zero division error should be handled this way. So in this case, uh, zero division except. Did I misspell it? No, sorry. Uh, so now zero division errors will print out the uh, you can't uh, divide by zero. However, if I try and divide by a cat, I still get the type error. Now this is one of the things where depending on how your code operates, you're actually able to nest multiple exceptions just like if we were dealing with uh, conditionals and then using L ifs. So if you think about it, there was the if statement and then L if a uh, new conditional statement, L if a new conditional statement, L if a new conditional statement, sort of the same things going on here. Uh, try to do the code. If there's an error, if that error is a zero division error, do this L if it's a, in this case, not a zero division, but if it is a type error, do this. And so in this case, we'll say uh, you cannot divide strings. Okay, so in this case, once again, we're handling two separate exceptions. We've loaded that into memory. Now if we attempt to divide by a cat, instead of seeing you cannot divide by zero, we instead caught our type exception and outputted you cannot divide by strings.